Hello, good morning, and welcome back to LT TV's coverage of the World Great Grandmasters Beach Ultimate Championships here in Sardinia. Um, you are watching the young legends in the white from Germany play Jets, which is the French team in the dark grey black. So young legends started off on O, but a turn near their end zone line. So Jets working up the centre now. Oh, fakes the end zone shots. Looking for the dump. Swings across. It's Goliard on disc. Lovely floaty disc to the end zone, but nicely intercepted uh, by Achenbach, who will walk it up to the end zone line. Oh, what an incredible layout from the number 80. Oh, sorry, 93 rather, Levenez, just spotting that disc coming and going full stretch. By the way, I didn't mention, I'm Ali Thomas, I'm here with Benji Reese. Um, Morning, Ali. <laughs> sorry, Benji, got carried away. That's all right, carried away. <laughs> oh, a lovely up the line cut and a score from Goliath, one of the captains on this Jets team. And that is a break to start the game. Good start there from Jets. One turn, maybe you could say the first was a little bit unfortunate with the drop, but the second one, what a spectacular block it was. Trying to find that inside channel, and then, you know, very heads up defending, turn plays as well. That really cheese you up. You've got a very big pull, center of the end zone from Jets. That's Logan. Very vocal sideline from the Jets here, controlling their defense. But Klima on disc. Oh, intended for Kostak. Logan tries to save it, can't quite get there. So Jets have a chance to extend their lead. Yeah, Young Legends, it feels like they haven't just quite clicked into gear yet. Top seed in this pool. They were the beaten finalists last time out this tournament was held. So maybe some early teething problems here is that throw from Jets. That's not going to get it done. Uh, no, I think oh, yeah. it, it is a court. So maybe just uh, getting a little bit handsy on the mark, perhaps. Potentially, potentially. It might, might help explain why the throw was so wayward. So nice up cut line from Langwa there. Looking to the end zone. Oh, there's a slightly wobbly hand to reset. Yeah, there was there was there was space for the upline cut. It wasn't a bad cut. It was right oh. to where it was to. Just poor execution. Schoenberg floats a lovely, lovely disc into the end zone for Hertel. So young legends hitting back is one all. Nice for them to get their first point of the game on the board because there was a position there where you know two breaks to start the game, and you know even though they're probably the favoured team in this matchup and maybe even in this pool, you know. If you go a couple of point, couple of breaks down early, it's always difficult to inch your way back into the game. Oh yeah, such a mental blow. And you can see they just puts a little. He just, he's kind of floating that one. He's showing the underside of the disc, perhaps, to the wind, and he's just. You know, your defender on the back foot, you are acres free. So lovely floaty pull. It's going to hang for a long time. Young Leadens setting up their defense. We've got Boileau, swings it to Malik. Oh, an unfortunate, sorry, that's Le, Le Rolec. Looks like it's just slipping out of his fingers, perhaps a little bit of sand on the disc. Oh, and that's a lovely round to Schunk. Very close to the end zone now. Bounce cut from Achenbach, not a fan. And a very simple swing to Achenbach. Bouncing from one end of the end zone to another, and Young Legends break back to go 2-1. Oh uh, no, hang on. Yeah, it, it, it yeah. is 2-1. We're just going just gonna to get a little bit of an adjustment in the scoreboard. Uh, but yeah, you're right. They're, they're utilizing the full width of the pitch there. You know, stretching it all the way to one sideline, and then that's not there, swinging it all the way across. And as a defender, it's so tiring when you're sh constantly shuttling back mm. and forth at the front of the end zone. And as you mentioned, you can't cover anything, so it's a question of, what do you give up? And, you know, generally, you sit a bit more on the open side. Team not quite there yet, hence the, uh, the young. I mean, there may, be not, there may not technically be legends yet, but, you, I mean, you know, silver medalist at the last championship, looking to get improve on that here. Build yourself legendary status already, certainly. 
Oh, a couple of cuts to the same space there, but Bardin comes up with it. Doesn't like the upper line. Then looks again to Chevalier. Lots of space in the middle of the field, but the reset goes back to Bardin. A nice switch on the defense there. But uh, Langlois still manages to get the disc. Very tight defense from the young legends here. Not giving the Jets much to work with. It really feels like every pass, they've got to really work for it. You're noticing that they're holding the disc for a long time because the, the continuation, the timing isn't there. And the cutters are working so hard to get free. Yeah, there's a lot of really heads up switching from young legends, just seeing cutters coming from behind them switching. Oh, and a lovely little shoulder fake from Chevalier to get the dump. Looking upfield, not a lot of movement. Gets it off to the Glovenek. Back to Chevalier. Oh, and a lovely cut to the middle of the field from Langlois. Fake swings to the sideline. Just working it up the sideline now. And a foul call. So inching their way closer to the end zone here. Luangwa surveying his options. Nice open cut from Bardin. Really knocking on the door. And some nice movement from Bardin to get free. Being marked by Herma King on the Jets' side. The only woman in this, uh, in this whole game, in fact. Indeed they are in credit to Jets because in the face of you know a lot of tight pressure, they worked hard and they did eventually get it down. But you could really feel that it was a proper grind for them. Yeah. They were not having it easy. There was no flow, no real continuation. And you know, there is an art to winning those points when it's a bit messy. Straight away, and especially if your team is, you know, from all over the country, um, as the Jets are. You don't necessarily have those connections to build on. What a pull that is, by the way. Landing yes. right and stone dead at the back of the end zone. So, young legends working it out nicely. Arthabas sends one deep. It's going to hang and be an aerial battle. Oh. And Struber just can't quite get up. And the defender out of it a little bit there. But that time it faded back towards the open side where the defender's got the position. And it just hung up too much. Oh, and there we go. We've got hitting back with a shot of his own, but unfortunately just a little bit too far. Inside out on the wind a little bit. Mm. So we've got Shunk picking up. Young Legends in a vertical setup. Looking upfield. Oh, and a really nice undercut from Achenbach. Miles free. Strube on disc. Shunk there. Not a lot of pressure from this Jets. I think they're really worried about the deep shots going, so they're... Sticking a bit deep, Anna, just a bit of a bump on the mark from Leven there. Leven there. A lovely round throw to Achenbach. And we have a repeat of previous. And this time, Strube is able to read it, and the disc is not fading behind his head. So a lovely point. Uh, we'll take it to 3 2. Yeah, it just had the right edge on it that time. So it kept its, held its shape kept its space towards the break side, and that makes the receiver's job so much easier when the thrower's helping to take the defender out of the play as well. Mm, absolutely. First one was just a, just a trial run, just a little practice. And it's such a nonchalant kind of flick of the wrist, but defender makes an effort, but strube has got that position nice and early, so mm. the defender's trying to have to kind of curl their way around. But it's such a difficult task. Yes. Really explode into that motion but on the beach as you mentioned yeah the sand moves under your feet and often you think you're in a good position and then all of a sudden you just kind of don't <laughs> no, you just don't oh very big lady pulled back just fading out of bounds it looks like and uh <laughs> an exclusive from langlois there slightly frustrated with himself yeah my french is not what it used to be but like, <laughs> and it stayed and it tailed out very early on so we've got Korstad. Swings round to Stefansson, up the line to Herten, and centres. Oh, and an excellent diving bid from Kornstadt. Oh, lots of faking, gets a nice eye out to Logan. 
looking upfield, doesn't like what he sees. Oh, and an incredible dive from Hertha, but it's going to be called down. Not much discussion, except it was down. Fair yeah, I, I agree with that. Got it on the hop almost. And again, maybe just guilty of being too casual with the throw because that should have been a comfortable completion. Absolutely. But I was going to say he turfed it, but you can't turf it on grass. <laughs> I, on sand, I mean, I don't know what the equivalent is here. Uh, he he beached, beached it. it. There we yeah. go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Got a more horizontal-ish look from Jets. Swinging round. Very nice up the line shot to Chevalier. Looking into the end zone. Very tough pressure from the young legends. Not a lot of options for the Jets, but he puts up a floater. Oh, a valiant effort from Logan, but it's brought down by Langlois, I believe. And yeah, not again, not much you can do when the disc is going behind you. Hard to read, hard to jump. Really nice shot. I mean, that is that is proper. That's a proper tantalizer, really, for a defender. I mean, even in you know the true you know derivation, you know, like like tantalizer himself, like reaching for those grapes that consistently <laughs> they just get further and further away, and it's over his head, and he jumps, and it's a good one. But it's again, just under, it's really difficult, as you mentioned, when you're right underneath the disc to a track it and b mack it, and so I'll have another big. Blady pull that will unfortunately oh. hit the back line. Young Legends in a more horizontal setup. Oh, and the immediate hammer to Struber. That is an incredible point. Does, does Audacious cover that? I don't know if Audacious quite covers oh that. Oh my god. I think Cheeky is too, like, not strong enough. Maybe Audacious is a bit too strong. Somewhere in the middle of those two. Wow. Not much you can do about that. Yeah, I mean, he's. I, I think he's got the arms out, kind of outstretched. Uh, Lurale saying that. I mean, what, what do you want me to do? <laughs> like, I mean, it brings in from the brick mark. Should we? And he's like, Nah, off you go. And he just, like, for one of a better way, he just yeets it. <laughs> and it's, and it, is, it, it is. It is. It is inch perfect. I mean, it's perfect for Struber to reel in. You cannot do it any better than that. It's a little thumbs up from Struber, like, yep, that That'll was do. good. <laughs> More of that, please. Take that. So we're now at 4-3. So on serve, as it were. Got Le Glorinec. Oh! Tries to swing to Langlois, but there's a diving Legends player able to get the turn very near their end zone. I think it was Lelgen in the end. Mm. Oh, and that is, oh, that was a very visionary throw from Herma King, but I don't think anyone in the stack was necessarily expecting it. <laughs> Just reacted a split second too late to reel that one in. Yeah, I think maybe Hertha was the intended target, but mm. it was just it was just kind of a fake rather than a committed cut. Yeah. And just couldn't quite get enough air on it for, uh, for Leland to, be, to get what would have been the most spectacular of bookends. Oh, absolutely. So Male to upfield and a little bit of argy bargy as the defenders try and get to their people. I'm working slightly, it. slightly surprised to not see the pit bull there. Sorry, Ali. Yeah, no, it's uh, maybe I guess his, his person was pretty close as well. So Jets have got it off the sideline. We've got Le Grovelnik, Duboyard. Vertical stack in the end zone. Two cuts from the front. Swings instead to Le Grovelnik. Back to Goliath. Oh, and well caught under very intense pressure. Standing right on the end zone line. Just about stuck it in there. Uh, hard to tell. <laughs> yeah, I think they've. I think they've successfully jammed it in the jam hole. I mean, that was. Damn. It was. It was not the prettiest of receptions, and I think uh, that uh, Levens has maybe got picked up a little bit of a, a little bit of a knock but I think this is the, what makes the point here is this give go he's already on the move the bid comes in and it means that he's not in position to stop that and it's a beautiful lead throw right into the path and then just a, one step over commits and able to reach behind and just about pour it into the clutches I mean it's or at seven points but 
I kind of feel at this point it probably is with less than five minutes to go. Still three points away. Probably we'll get the half cap. Definitely. Uh, it's a slightly looser match. I thought it was his own for a second, but no. We've got Achenbach on the disc. Looking upfield. Oh, very nice up the line cut, but breaks the force instead to Lang. Lang to Weidler. Looking into the end zone and a lovely inside shot. Oh, just bounced out of the hands of Strube. He's been very reliable in the end zone so far. Yeah, he's been so, so short-handed. That's a bit of a surprise. I mean, it, the throw's where it needs to be. It just somehow looks like it's got a bit of a Italian olive oil in it and it just sneaks through. <laughs> Needed to be a 60 mile an hour hammer for him to catch it. Little, little yeah, iron Yeah, he's made it too easy for him. Yeah, Can't hit him in the hands. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, we've got Boileau on disc. Oh, it's a floaty pass to the middle, intercepted. And just a little lead pass into Jens Achenbach. And that is a, a not, not an error-free point, but uh, got there in the end, young legends. I mean, they earned the turn back very quickly. You can see what, they're, what the Jets were trying to do. Isolate that player coming into the mm. middle in plenty of space. But credit to the young legends because they're heads up, they noticed it. Mm -hmm. And when the throw floated a little bit, as we see again on the replay here, I think when he released it, he knew as well yeah. that Struber was there. And in the end, as you mentioned, Achenbach is the one who, uh, who gets it. And then he's off to the races and that little hop, skip and a jump into the end zone, collecting the dish for the goal. Yeah, and a nice little push pass spike. I, I like that. <laughs> I'm, a bit, I'm a big fan of that, actually. So Jets now to equalise. Another really nice pull, landing sort of centrally near the sideline of the end zone. Got Goliath. Oh, fakes the big throw. He's got Bardin coming back from the dump, but nice little inside shot to Rab. Will be sent back. I think a bit of a travel there when uh, when the mark was down. He just lost his footing ever so slightly. Ah, oh, makes sense. Uh, so we've got Courtil looking deep. Dumps back to Bardin. Back to Goliath. Oh, and a nice low squat there to Boileau. Maybe another, another little bump on the mark. Oh, and it's excellent D uh, into one of the uh, spectators. It looks like there may be a call. It did seem like there was a lot of contact on there. Yeah. This game has been, there, I mean, there has been that physicality. As, oh, we just about got the shot there between the two players who were encroaching on the sideline. Like the disc was, it was not particularly well thrown disc, and it was it was going to fade out of the sideline. So maybe in the end, that's why the call's been retracted. Quite possibly because they decided that actually he wasn't going to get the disc anyway. Nice shot through the middle to De Schoenberg, then swings to Hertha. Looking upfield, not a huge fan of what he sees. Is he going to throw a hammer? Uh, no, it's a oh, a floaty backhand, <laughs> and uh, Rabet falls slowly to the ground, and there's a stall out called. He was holding onto the disc for quite a while. Something I'd like to see Hertel do a bit earlier is he was looking, he was kind of focused on downfield, mm. and maybe after a few seconds, if you're not seeing that, they really square up, turn in field, and have a look and try and get the disc, you know, off the sideline into a better position. Mm, definitely. But he absolutely did the right thing there after that uh, caught by just dumping it back immediately. And that's a very long throw that's just going to go out of bounds to be intercepted by Goliath. Oh, but a travel call. Yeah, Herzl's not happy with where he set his feet after coming back in bounds. Goliath just shaking a bit of sand out of the disc before stepping on the pitch. Nice swing to the middle to Bardin. Got a couple of options. Oh, and that's a lovely IO backhand that's going to fade quite a few tall players underneath it. And it's the D by Hertha. Going, going on. Okay, so. John Legends moving up the pitch again. Nice shot through the middle. And a nice break to Korstadt onto the sideline with Klima. 
Looking at the end zone, works it up the sideline to Schoenberg. Oh, wow. Completely sells his mark and is able to get just a cheeky little forehand off to Logan. I mean, the defender sold so far down the river. He's in the Mediterranean Sea <laughs> by the end of it. Which is not that far away from us, no, to, to be, be fair. fair. <laughs> but, I mean, that's, that's, the, that's, that's the power of having a purposeful fake. Yes. It's, yeah, especially if you can get that snap of the wrist. You really can get the defender biting on that. And it freed up, and it freed up the space for the, uh, for the, well, not quite the swing, but for that break throw on the sc for the score. So we'll see it here. It wasn't even really that purposeful of a fake. The defender, I think, just perhaps biting on the, uh, the purposeful pivot, perhaps. Yeah, maybe. So Strube, sorry, not Strube, Schunk with the pull. And floats for a long time. Chevalier on the disc. Upfield to Mallet. Nice little dump back to Chevalier again. Langlois trying to get free. Manages it after a few jinks. Looking to the break side. Oh, and a bit of a miscommunication there. Langlois <laughs> exercising his lungs again. Not sure if he's upset himself or his cutters. Oh, wow. Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Very strong shot through the middle to Achenbach. And a beautiful hammer. Oh, just bouncing off the hands of Schunk, who shakes his fingers. But he's a foul call. He's tapping his hands, I think, perhaps saying that there was a bit of contact from the French player, who immediately contests it. Yeah, Le Glonek did obviously not see that the same way that Schunk did. Uh, Langlois perhaps offering his opinion. But it looks like it's going to be a contested foul. There we go. Got there in the end. Got there in the end. I'd I mean, obviously you want to kind of get the game moving quickly, but you'd always rather maybe players take a couple of seconds more and get the right result. Yeah, definitely. Oh, nice deep cut going. Langlois doesn't fancy it. Instead, a lovely space throw through to Le Glovenek. Back to Langlois. He's got two deep cuts, doesn't fancy either of them. Nice shot through the middle to Mallet. Very close to the end zone now, Chevalier on the disc. He's got Mallet in front of him. Oh, and that's a very cheeky throw. That's some indoors kind of play there. I mean, that's almost, it's almost a backhand knife, like you're playing against like a four on the line. And it was so congested in the front corner of that end zone. And somehow, Jets, I mean, they were able to blast their way in there. There was not, I mean, to say there was not a lot of space is like, it was. An understatement, absolutely. It felt like getting, like going through airport security. It was just like everyone's <laughs> way too close, especially, especially in these COVID times. But we're seeing it again here on the replay. You can see he's looking for that. And there is the space for the breakthrough. I think he just took, that like the timing is not quite there and in the end he's like yeah why not i mean pops to levin from enough <laughs> with the right degree of hard it's always open okay 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 <laughs> so still a very tight game um i really don't know what's happening with the half time now because they haven't swapped ends but if, well, okay, whatever. We'll Lovely see. deep shot. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, that is a beautiful deep shot. Inch perfect into the, into the arms of uh, Tim Kolstad, who caught it right in stride. And I think now that will be half at seven for okay. the half-time point cap. Yes. So, yes, okay, because the young legends are now going to the other end. Right, okay. There we go. There we go. All makes sense. <laughs> it's one of those things where after, especially after, you know, not playing a tournament, coming from tournaments that don't have half-time half-time time caps mm. all of a sudden going into one it just throws you a little bit there but a beautiful put from Logan yeah just right near the back of the end zone defenders nowhere near just oh that's lovely I mean Goliard is incredibly athletic and mm. if there's a play to be made you can you know you can be sure that he'll try and make it but that time I think he just knows that he's just He's just, he's been beaten that time. Mm. It's sand. I'm Sounds still like a good indie band name. It does actually, yeah. I, I think I'm finding sand from my first Paganello, and that was a decade ago. Uh -huh. And it still keeps turning up. 
Oh, an absolute heartbreak for Bardin, just not watching the disc all the way into his hands. And so the young legends have a chance to run an end zone play and take a very early point out of this half. You can hear the shocked gasps on the sideline. And some nice cutting from Hertel, but well covered. Oh my word, incredibly well hung onto that disc. It looked like he only had a few fingers on it and there was defensive pressure from Planchard, but that is a break for Young Legends. I mean, it's, it's, it's gutting. I was going to say it's galling and then I realised it's <laughs> it, uh, pun, pun not intended that time, but it's, I mean, it's, no one means to drop the ball, obviously, it, it, but it, 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 you know, sometimes you just take your eye off it, perhaps you're looking at the next pass already and it, it's just, it, it really deflates you mentally. Yeah. I mean, credit to uh, Jets because they didn't let the Young Legends, you know, so often, you know, you kind of, you're on the back, but Young Legends do get a break early in the second stanza and they're now 8-5 up. Um, so Jets, nice swinging up to Boileau. The middle of the pitch now, swings back to Le Glornick. And that's a lovely, lovely lead pass up to Boileau. And an easy score uh, for Le Glornick. That was a really, really nice point. What a, what a throw, I mean, as you mentioned. Could not have done it. it any more perfectly across the pitch going with that blade just lead the receiver and it's coming back in as well so it hits right in stride and that time you've got the time in the continuation cut there as well see it again on the replay it's the defender just gets commits and it leaves them out of position and that opens up the space as you mentioned for Lung Bois to just sit this throw on the wind into space and while Lower catches it and then yeah simple continuation to the Rolex for the goal yeah, it looks like the defence just wasn't really sure where the disc is, wasn't really keeping track of their players. Just a very focused Jets point. And that's that's always the uh, always the risk, the risk reward calculation that you've got to go through in your head. That mental. Ma King, so we've got uh, Hammer King bring it up to the disc, the brick mark even. Nice to Logan. Oh, catches it under extreme pressure, and then we've got Kerstadt on the sideline. Very active force from Jets, but well caught by Herta. And a uh, foul call. Looks like it's uncontested. Just yeah, like just a little bit of a bump and they just kind of flopped out of Herta's hands. <laughs> oh, that is a bold, bold put, showing a lot of trust in his uh, receiver, Logan, but the wind, I think, just carried it uh, over their heads, not coming down quite the way that Hertel had intended it to. And yeah. as a defender, it doesn't matter if you get it, as long as the, as long as the other team doesn't. So Jets with a chance to uh, narrow the lead of the young legends. In the middle of the pitch, not a lot of options. Oh, and that's just an unfortunate throw slightly behind uh, Bardin, who can't quite hold on to it. So the young legends will have a chance at redemption. setting up with three handlers and a lovely swing across to Klima who sells his mark once again Logan on disc and a nice little score to Kolstad no fuss no frills Stefan Zorn just sprinting across the pitch there <laughs> making sure there's equal sideline presence for both teams yeah, ever so slightly larger roster for the for the Germans by by just the one player. Oh no, actually, because he's not here. Exactly the same size <laughs> team for both teams. Oh, almost a deep and vital there, but Jets retain possession. Got Golly out on the sideline. Oh, and a scuba dump to no one. Langlois puts his hands on his knees and just sort of smiles ruefully. Yeah, Langlois was coming a bit more behind, but. I think, uh, from Goliath's perspective, there was the space there and he perhaps didn't need to move, but evidently they just lost sight of each other perhaps as he goes to release the scuba. Oh, lovely inside shot from Weitler to Struber, 
who I think has potentially got three or four goals now for, uh, for Young Legends. He's been a bit of a menace, really. Definitely has. End zone menace. It's all about getting free in those kind of quite small spaces. And uh, if you've got a handler who can break the force, you are golden. Often you think about goal scorers being your biggest players in terms of, you know, size. And Struber is, he's, he's, you know, not a, not a small guy. But often, especially when you're tight into the end zone, as you mentioned, it's about those, you don't necessarily need to battle. It's about those having those short, sharp changes of direction, especially on the sand, as we've seen the young legends do there. So Long Legends on a little bit of a, a roll with the points here. Um, we'll see if Jets can find another gear and start getting some more on the board. And that is an excellent pull all the way at the back of the end zone. I was thinking that Bardown maybe could have pulled that a bit earlier, but perhaps with the drop pull earlier, it's maybe playing in the back of the mind a bit there. You're almost certainly right there. But some really nice and quick ultimate here. Panda's not really keeping the disc for more than a few seconds. Oh, and a low one, well reeled in by Chevalier. He's got two cuts coming into the same space. Picks Mallet. Back to Chevalier. Oh, and a nice floating shot. Is it going to stay in? It is good. Gosh, that looked like it could have gone either way there, but really well read um, and brought back in by Mallet. Yeah, nice balletic almost footwork yes. there, just towing the line. And it was like, because it was, it was almost overemphasized, but there was no doubt about whether or not he was in or out. Yeah. And I like that they were, you know, all, they were pushing the pace a little bit there. I'm trying to think back to my, trying to think back to reading music. Presto's quickly, isn't it? Uh, in Italian or French? Italian. Ah, uh, I'm not sure. But like, they, but they, 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 it, it, you know, they pushed the tempo, they're pushing the pace a little, and it made the point a bit easier because the disc had that quick movement. So we've got Shunk. Oh, and an incredible bid from Rabe there, uh, but still brought in by the taller German player. Achenbach on disc on the sideline, and that's a very nice up the line shot uh, to Weitler. He's got Struber in the end zone. Looks for a dump. Oh, incredible blading flick to Shunk. There's really not much you can do about that as a defender as it curves away from you. Awesome, awesome point. I mean, that is so sneaky. <laughs> it's very much, uh, rather than I see this cut developing and we'll throw to it, it's uh, I see that space developing and I'll put the throw there and I'll trust that someone else has also seen that space developing. Now, when you've played together for a while, even if you haven't necessarily had as much training during the pandemic as you otherwise would, you know, you have that faith that Yes, we're going to we're going to read the field in the same way. We're going to see the same spaces, see the same spots, and I think that that is game. Indeed, it is. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches, and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, us TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond.